into my tutorial. Today I want to talk about quilling papers. Uh, these are some of the uh, commercially bought ones that I've got. Um, but if you can't get hold of these, you can make them yourself. Um, they do come in uh, different widths. This is, a, I think it was a 2mm one. You can get 3, 5, 7, 10, 20 millimetre. just depends on how big you uh, want them to be. Uh, I'm going to show you today how you can use the wider ones to cut them down to make them thinner and make templates to make your own. Um, I make some of my own by using a manual paper stripper, strimmer, should I say, sorry, shredder, uh, and I think that was, this was about five or ten pounds on eBay, something like that. Um, as you can see, it's well loved, and <laughs> it got knocked off and broke, but it still works fine. This one does, uh, I think it's about four millimetre wide strips, those are the um, uh, standard width for this side, you can't change the width on this one, um, but because it's about four millimetres, you know, if you you put something through on this one and you cut it straight down the middle, you'll get your two millimetre strips. Um, and it's about, I think it's about 12 centimetres wide, this one. So, yeah, the opening is about 12 centimetres wide. So I cut my uh, pieces of paper so that they're the right widths to go through. So my, See, this is just standard A4 paper. Quilling strips generally come between 80 and 100 GSM. So this is just some cheap uh, scrap, uh, well, kids crafting paper that I've got a minute just to show you. So I'll cut it into 12 centimetres then save this to make some more later. I don't want that to fall. Right, so it doesn't matter that you've got that crazy, you can easily burnish it out. You don't have to use the uh, guillotine, it's just for quickness. And then just pop it in. They can go a little wonky every now and again, the bit of paper, so just take your time and hold the paper up so it keeps it straight. just from that uh, 12 centimeter wide paper it needs to be double sided uh, colored paper just so that you get the color when you work it through um, and these are just really nice to make on the mass if you're just wanting to do a big project and not wanting to spend lots and lots on getting different uh, packs of quilling papers and like I said these are about four millimeter wide uh, when I want two millimeter ones I just cut straight down the middle with a pair of scissors. It can take a while but it, um, it's quite therapeutic actually when you're just sat in front of the TV and uh, you're listening to a film or something so like I said, it just cut down the middle and then you've got your 4mm and your 2mm. I have got an electric uh, paper shredder and that comes out with 6mm ones so um, you can cut them down into three millimetres or two millimetres depending on how steady the hand you've got. I've not got a very steady hand but uh, it is easy for you to do different uh, widths with the uh, you know the manual and the electric, electric paper shredder. Um, now these are a couple of templates that I've made for if you've not got the, um, the paper shredders. Uh, this is a 10 millimetre wide uh, template that I've made and this is a five millimeter wide. I'll show you how I've, I've done it. I've tried doing the smaller I'll show you the other side of the card. I can't get my lines to go perfectly straight any less than five centimeters, uh, five millimeters. So that's why I do the cutting down of the strips. So all I'm doing with this one, you can do it with each uh, piece of paper individually and just mark them off and then cut them out. This is a template that I've made that I scan into my computer and then I'll print it off onto the back of each piece of paper that I'm going to use. So I'm not having to measure it out constantly. If you haven't got a printer and a scanner, then you can do it, it just takes a little bit longer. So we'll do the uh, five millimeter one. So it's basically, you know, just making your points. You've done this when you were in school and just make a little notch at each 
five millimeters. I'll not do the whole thing because I've already got a just showing you what to do. I'm hoping that you can actually see what I'm doing. Let me just watch it. Yeah, you can. So I'll just do it all the way down the page. I'll have to put a bit of sharper pencil and get a bit more. Just one near the bottom. The only reason that I do several markings is to just make sure that I get it completely straight. It's not the end of the world if you don't uh, get completely straight um, quilling strips. It's just that I'm a neat freak and I prefer it. Um, so, right, let's take one that's how you might be able to see a bit better. So, you just line up your markings and then go down. Simple as that. Um, it's the same for if you want to do a 10mm wide, or if you can manage to do the 2mm and the 3mm one, then go for it. I just can't do it. I have tried and tried and tried and I'm just not capable of doing that. Um, so this one's probably the easiest. Because um, it's five millimetres, you can just cut this in half as well if you wish and then you get like a two and a half millimetre one. So like I say, I've done that one that I'll scan into my computer, which is the five and the ten millimetre strips so that I've got those standard sizes and then I'll print them out onto whatever colour paper that I've got and then I can cut them down from there. Um, the other one that I do is if you've got some wider strips like these ones um, they can be cut down into smaller ones because uh, I've got quite a few of these and uh, I don't generally use that many of the wider ones and you get you can get them in all of the different colours. Uh, there's different lengths of these and, as well. Um, but this one I can get down into about uh, I managed to cut it down into four sections on this one. Uh, let's get my big scissors. Now the quilling papers that you you get that can come in different lengths. Now, if you've only got A4 paper to cut up and make your own, all you need to do is, if you want a longer strip, is just cut out multiple strips, then glue them end to end. And then you can uh, get them as long as you want. Each different company that I, I buy strips from have a different standard length. So it'll just take a while for you to fiddle around and find out what the length is that you like to work with. This is more of a, a stiffer uh, paper strip than uh, some of the other ones that I've got. But they're really good well, for getting cut up smaller. That's it. It's not perfectly straight. The more I do of them I find that the steadier I can get at it because I, I gauge um, you know, the distance I want to do them uh, a little bit better each time that I go. Again, with this, you could put it onto a cutting mat and use a um, a craft knife and a metal ruler and cut it that way. Again, I'm scared of cutting myself, so I don't do it that way. Um, but that's what I do, and I, I use for, so that I can use up all the strips that I've uh, I've collected over the years, uh, and then can stick them end to end. That's as simple as it is. Um, and that's how to make your own quilling papers. Um, I think the probably easiest one is to use the uh, shredders uh, because all you've got to do is cut your paper down into uh, you know the width that it'll go through your your machine, and then you're away with then really. So it's just finding the different colours uh, of paper that you want and the uh, right amount of <coughs> weight of paper, excuse me. And that's it. So I hope that's been helpful and if you've got any questions feel free to ask me and I'll see you next time. Bye!